Hey booktube, it's Ashley Bookishrom and I am back with a, another video. Today I am here to basically do a short book review and it's non-spoiler of the first two books in the Diviner series by Libba Bray. The first book being the Diviners and I have my dust jacket and one book is trying to run, it's crazy. The first book being the Diviners and the second book being Lair of Dreams. And if you guys did not know, I hate the cover changes. These original cover was um, so beautiful. And then the publishing company went and changed the covers. And it just completely sucks because this one is absolutely gorgeous. So if you guys didn't know, the Diviners are, um, or the Diviners is a paranormal historical fiction series. And what is so interesting about it is that it takes place in New York, um, probably around the 20s, 30s, around that time period is the feel that I am generally getting. And it's full of so many interesting aspects and so many just, oh, it's just, let's put it this way, it is a great series. The only bad thing about the series is the wait time behind each book. Um, I'm not too sure when The Diviners was published. I know that the first time I read it was in 2014. And then this book didn't come out for like a little over a year. It was slated to come out in spring of 2015, then got pushed back to fall. And I know it was a, a huge gap between the first one and the second one. But they are both excellent books. If you have not read them, I definitely recommend reading them. And another uh, aspect of it is if you have not read the or listened to the audiobook of these books, I definitely recommend listening to the audiobooks because the audiobooks are absolutely phenomenal. You get such a different experience with the audiobooks. They are amazing. Some of the best audiobooks that I've listened to and I am a frequenter of audiobooks. So that is my shameless plug right there. Um, what I think stood out to me in this first book with the Diviners is that it was the first YA paranormal series that I read that actually creeped me out. And um, it starts off with a main character by the name of Evie. And Evie um, is able to read objects, essentially. So she can put her hands on an object and she can tell you all of the information that is drawn from that object, things about people's past, about their present, things that they have done in relation to this object. And she ends up doing that when she's in Ohio and it gets her into a bit of trouble. So she is sent to New York to live with her uncle Will who runs this paranormal museum. And she has to basically function there and learn how to live there. And of course she gets into a world run of trouble. Um, she meets other people there. Um, who may or may not also have the gift of being diviners and they have to solve this crime there's some grisly or grisly, grisly <laughs> um crimes that are occurring where people are essentially missing body parts um they're killed and things like eyes are taken tongue skin it's completely gross and there's somebody who is doing it and they have to kind of figure out who it is and why it's happening this book actually gave me nightmares and that is saying a lot considering the only person that really ever does that for me is Stephen King. He completely creeps me out. But this book essentially just creeped the heck out of me and because it doesn't happen often I was thoroughly, thoroughly just enthralled with everything that um, Libba Bray ended up doing with this. And when I met her I, I told her I was like this is the first book that I've I've really ever read that's really creeped me out and she signed it and said I really am this creepy I'm right behind you love Libra Bray so she's just an amazing author in general um it's well written it is a long book I will tell you that I think this first book is 578 pages fully engaging a great read um and the second one layer of dreams picks up where the first one left off. I won't give too much information on this one because of the fact that it is the sequel and there are a lot of spoilers in this, but what I can tell you about this book is that I love the diversity of the cast in this book. Not that we didn't see diverse cast in the first book, but we definitely do in this book. We 
um, are working with um, Chinese immigrants, Irish immigrants. Um, we have an LGBT main character. We have a person of color as a main character. We have a lot going on in this book as far as character diversity, and I really, really did enjoy that aspect. And Libba Bray does a lot to incorporate how the Chinese Exclusion Act in America affected um, Chinese immigrants and then also the American community and how it gave them perceptions of the Chinese that were not true. And I like that historical aspect that was included in this book and it was just, it was great. Um, I listened to this one on audiobook and it was a wonderful experience listening to it on audiobook. We are exposed to new characters, which I liked. It wasn't, Evie was in it, but I don't think it was so heavily focused on Evie. It was focused on some other characters, which was great um, to see how these other characters are gonna play into the bigger story. And I think these two, these first two books are kind of, plot builders because all the characters in the books are connected in some way and they serve a greater purpose and I think with the third book which is coming out in the fall of this year that we're going to see how all of these characters essentially have to work together. Um, we meet more diviners, we learn what their abilities are, there's this big mystery around where diviners come from and how they get their powers so I'm really I'm really anticipating this last book. I really want to know more about Jericho. There was a a character from another series that was in this book that was amazing and I fangirled when I read it and I was like holy crap I can't believe she's in this book and if I'm not mistaken I'm thinking that it is a possibility that this may all tie together into a big story so I'm interested to see where Liver Bray is going with that. I believe I gave both of these either four or four and a half stars. If you're into paranormal and you're looking for something that's historical fiction paranormal, I definitely would recommend checking this series out and listening to it on audiobook. They are wonderful books and I just can't gush more about them if I could. All right, guys, that's it for my book review. I hope you guys enjoyed. If you want to know more about the books, let me know in the comment box below. Um, if you have read them, try not to spoil other people. If you want to discuss them, message me personally. Let me know. I love having book discussions. As always, give this video a thumbs up if you like it. If you want to see more content, click the subscribe button. And as always, I hope you guys have a wonderful day. Bye.